Hey guys, welcome back to the Lazy Bushman channel. Sorry it's been a while since I've created any content um, for this channel. Uh, it's just been, life's just been really busy with Christmas and, and a bunch of birthdays leading up to that, uh, work and other things. Um, but I'm here now. Um, uh, what I've wanted to do for a little while is create a, a bit of a series on reloading. Um, reloading for rifles, um, most specifically. Um, there's a, there's a lot of really good content out there on the internet, um, but I just wanted to make something that talked about the way that I do it, why I do it the way that I do, uh, for the style of shooting that I do, um, which is predominantly hunting with a bit of range, bench rest um, stuff thrown in. I don't, I'm not a bench rest shooter, I have no bench rest rifles, um, but I like to go there every now and then and just um, you know, get some get some rounds down the down the barrel, keep my eye in, um, and all those sorts of things. Um, so, uh, neither did I want to create, though, a uh, one really big video. Um, um, I don't like really long videos myself. Um, I'm, I like to try and break them up and make them con as concise as possible and, 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 and address um, particular topics and issues. Um, in this particular video, I'm, a little bit later, I'm going to uh, address, you know, just uh, by way of introduction, um, the pros and cons of, of, of getting into, into reloading and, and, and why. <coughs> um, but, uh, but for now, look, uh, what I want to do is sort of demystify a little bit um, reloading. At the end of the day, reloading is about assembling four components um, uh, that are necessary for, for, a, for a live round, being the, uh, the, the case, the primer, the powder and the projectile those four things um, and doing it in a way that is, is safe and, and, and functional in your in your firearm. Um, I'm not going to be um, uh, handing out recipes and, and, and those things. Um, I'll give you some advice around where to look and, and, and how to approach that but what you've got to remember is that every rifle is different, every shooter is different and um, what works in my 270 Winchester may not work all that well in your 270 Winchester and 270 Winchester and, and, and vice versa. Um, now before you rush off and, and jump into reloading there's probably two key questions you need to ask yourself. One is what sort of shooter are you? So are you a bench rest shooter? Are you a, are you a hunter? Are you a plinker? Are you a, you know, are, are, you, are you a bit of everything? Um, because the answer to that sort of que that question is really going to drive uh, the types of of components you're going to you're going to purchase, um, the equipment that you're going to buy. Um, certainly, my stuff is not at that super high bench rest grade level um, of equipment. Um, it, it's good gear, but you know if you if, if you went to the, the you know um, the top bench rest guys, um, you'll you, you'll see you know very different gear to what you know you sort of see behind me a little bit. Um, Functionally, still, still the same, but you know, probably um, uh, a little bit more precise. Um, the other thing is, you know, why do you want to reload? Is it, is it to save money? Is it to um, create more accurate ammunition? Is it just for fun? You know, to give yourself something to do? Me personally, I got into reloading because at the time I was living in New Zealand. This is goes over back over ten years ago now, and we were living in Wellington. Um, and the weather's rubbish a lot of the time. Um, great people, great hunting opportunities, but I was looking for something to do for, on those days where I just couldn't get out of the house and I was trapped inside and it's you know minus one degree and it's blowing 100 kilometer an hour and rain's coming down sideways. Uh, so a guy who was working for me, his mate was the importer of Hornady. Now I'm not promoting Hornady, um, I'm not saying that they're, they're, they're the best, Hornady do make good gear, but so does RCBS, um, so does Reading, so, so does a bunch of other uh, manufacturers as well. I've got the, a lot of a lot of my gear is Hornady, simply because um, the guy who worked for me, he could get it for me cheap um, through his mate who was import, who was the importer for New Zealand. Uh, certainly, I don't know if he still is, but certainly was at the time. Um, so that's, that's why I've got the, the gear that I've got. It's, um, I'm not promoting them, I'm not saying they're they're better or worse than, than, than anything else. It's just what I it's, it's just what I have. Um, and uh, you know, really, the answers to those two questions are really going to drive your approach and and how 
you you you'll reload but you'll have a, a ton of different gear or you'll go extremely simplistic but the first lot of reloading I, I ever did was with a mates 30 30 and we uh, and we were we were teenagers and we used the lee hand loading kit you know we you, you spooned one 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 spoon was of, of powder was put into the um into the case it wasn't measured it was weight I should say it was measured by the little spoon that it came with and um, had, a, had a little hand crimping tool for the for the projectile and other things um, and we shot stuff um, quite successfully with that um, so I guess you know w without further ado um, look, reloading like I suppose everything else in life it has pros and cons associated with it um, for me um, I see the pros as as one it's, it's an interesting hobby it, it, I, I enjoy it. it it's it puts my head in a whole other space gets it out of work um, and I, I just like um, the time that I get to spend at the reloading bench and 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 tinker around um, it can save you uh, another another pro is that it can save you um, money depending on, on how much you shoot. Um, the more you shoot and the more different calibers you shoot, um, the more you can you absolutely um, can save um, save some money. Um, you can you can create um, more accurate ammunition than what you can get out of a packet. And then there's some enjoyment in that, you know, it goes back to the first point about being able to tinker. You can tinker away and create something that's that's yours that you've made and and performs better than what you can buy um, and you know it, it also helps to improve your overall knowledge of of, of the sport of shooting um, understanding exactly how all the different components um, interact and react with each other um, to provide you with the outcome that you're that you're looking for um, as a con, now I, I talked about how it can save you a lot of money. One of the cons is that it can also be very expensive. If you're a person who doesn't shoot a lot, um, then reloading can be very expensive. Um, I will, um, I'll put up a little chart uh, attached to this video where I've actually done some analysis um, with uh, reloading versus buying, versus buying um, uh, factory ammunition. And uh, from memory, I uh, think you've got to reload it in the order of four and a half thousand rounds before reloading starts to make economical sense. Now that's let me just qualify that, and, and you'll see it on the graphic that I'll, that I'll post with this video. I did that analysis um, based on uh, seven mil oh eight, um, and it's it's and, and buying your ammunition in bulk, um, like a in lots of 200 rounds um, so uh, you know obviously if you only buy a pack at a time it's you know the, the, the cost per round is higher um, and you know different different rounds use you know the, the, the brasses different prices for, for, for different different calibers different amounts of powder and so forth and so forth um, but it gives you it at least gives you an idea you know four and a half thousand rounds of 7 mil 08 if that's all I was reloading for, that's a lot of 7 mil 08 for a hunter to, to go through. Uh, they, they probably wouldn't buy that amount of factory ammunition in, in, in a decade, I would, I'd, I'd probably suggest. Um, the other thing is that it's very expensive to start. Um, I, I think it would be very difficult to buy reasonable quality equipment, you know, such as Hornady or you know, Lyman and... Um, RCBS and, and, and that sort of thing, um, and, and, and a, a number of the you know, need to plus a couple of nice to have um, components for less than about 900 bucks. You know, by the time you buy your dies and, and, and so forth, you, you've got to budget that, that sort of money. You can, you can certainly go cheaper, um, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's, there are some cheaper brands out there, and people have you know, made, you know, thousands of rounds of ammunition with that gear. Um, for me, I, 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 I live by the philosophy of poor man pays twice. Buy as good a gear as you can, no matter what it is in life, um, whether it's reloading, whether it's um, tools, whether it's sporting equipment, whatever it is, um, buy, buy the, the best quality that, that you can afford.
doesn't mean necessarily buying the most expensive, always look and shop around and get the best price. Um, but look, it, it is expensive. Um, for 900 bucks, you can buy yourself a pretty nice rifle. Um, another con is that it, it, it's actually, it can be quite confusing and, and daunting, particularly when you start off. You think about um, all, all the various um, devices that you need for, for reloading and the myriad of choices there, and, and that, that's that's multiplied once you start looking at components such as you know different different types of brass that are out there, um, the the massive range of powders and projectiles and primers, um, and then you've got all the all the various combinations. It's it, it can become extremely daunting uh, and and very confusing for a lot of people. Uh, and the last one I, I put this in as a con. Um, it's very time consuming. You know that's. You, know, you spend a lot of time at your bench working up loads, preparing preparing your brass and putting together all your components. And that's time that you know you're you're away from your family um, and your friends and um, tuck, tucking yourself away and and, and methodically working through and, and building up your loads. Then you've got to go out there at no point just you know creating loads for the sake of creating. Uh, creating them you've actually got to go out there and, and 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 shoot them and test them and work out what works better for you and your rifle and the way that you shoot and 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 be observant of the conditions on the day um and a whole range of different factors so it's it's very time consuming um hobby uh, as well so guys that's that's fundamentally what i wanted to cover off um in this in this first video um subsequent videos um, i'm going to have a look at you know um to where to start and, and, and how to know where to start um, what's sort of the minimum that I think the, the minimum sort of equipment that you want to be buying um, and what are some of the nice to haves when you get into reloading um, then I also want to do one around how do you actually use the stuff and use the stuff safely okay um, nobody wants to go hurting themselves or blowing themselves up either making ammunition or, or, or using it so how do we do this safely um, I probably won't do a, a video on, on the the end-to-end -end reloading process in itself. Um, those component ones that I, that I just mentioned, that could be multiple videos, because I, I just think I can't remember if I mentioned already that I, I don't, I, I want to try and keep these down, you know, five to ten minutes in, in length if I can. This one's sort of gone over a little bit and I do apologise, but I want to try and keep these fairly short and succinct um, for people so that they you know, um, I'm wasting a lot of time um, on YouTube. Uh, at least, hopefully, it's not as much as time as I seem to waste on YouTube. Um, but through that process, as you see me use and, and demonstrate the various components, um, you know, you, you'll see how the assembly of the, the ammunition comes together. So I'm not likely to, to, to do a, a go to woe on how to build a round. Um, but we'll look, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. So, look. God bless, take care, safe shooting, and uh, look, I'll see you next time. Don't you know that's not your name?